Yo, hey guys, what is up? It's JJ Tech here back again for another brand new video. And today I'm gonna be talking about five reasons why you shouldn't buy the brand new Series X. Now, the reason I came across this video is because I don't know if you guys know, but I kind of talked about in my videos before uh, my thoughts of the Xbox Series X and even my gaming controller videos comparing the PS5 controller to the Series X controller. And I basically told you guys that I might not be upgrading from my current Xbox One S to the brand new Xbox Series X. Here's why. So with no further ado, let's start off with reason number one. Now the first reason why I think you shouldn't upgrade from your current Xbox One is well, because it's already powerful enough. Sure, the Series X might be one of the most powerful consoles ever, even more powerful than the PS5, but is it really worth upgrading from one of these here? So if you have an Xbox One S, as you know, it can play 4K, not 4K games, it can enhance them, but it can play 4K Netflix, YouTube, pretty much any video streaming uh, device or pretty much any video streaming platform that supports 4K, your Xbox One S can take advantage of it, especially if you own a 4K TV. Now my point here is, if this thing can already do 4K, the brand new Series X can also do 4K. So what's the point of upgrading to something that can pretty much do the exact same thing? Now I know the Xbox Series X is capable of playing 8K, 4K, 60 FPS and whatnot, but let's be honest, who really owns an 8K TV in 2020? I mean, let me know in the comments down below if you own one, but let's be honest, no one really owns one in 2020. In fact, there's still some people that are barely catching up to getting 4K TVs. So yeah, that's the first reason why I think you shouldn't upgrade from your current Xbox One to the Series X. Now the second reason why I think you shouldn't upgrade from your current Xbox One to your Xbox Series X is well the price. Now I know what you guys are going to say, what do you mean there is no official price on the Xbox Series X yet? Yeah I understand that, but let's just throw out an example here. So let's say the brand new Series X with all the specs that it has, pretty much gaming PC level if not probably even better than a, a mid budget gaming PC, let's say it costs, I don't know, 700, 650. 650 we'll stick with 650 and obviously the current Xbox One S costs what 250 also as well so 250 and the Xbox One X costs 350 now if you own an Xbox One X and you're looking to upgrade to the Series X and like I said let's say it costs 650 there's no point well because the Xbox Series X and the Xbox One X pretty much do the same thing the only benefit you're getting from the Series X is that it can play 4k 60 as you know the current Xbox One X can only play 4k 30 and only in some cases play 4k 60 I don't know if you guys can understand what I'm trying to say here but basically if you already have a current Xbox One X which when it was new cost 500 bucks and you want to spend another 650 or maybe even 700 when the Xbox Series X comes out just to get 60 FPS is it really worth it not really so basically the number two reason is do you really want to upgrade from 4K 30 to 4K 60? That's kind of the second reason. Now before I get on to the third reason, I just want to let you guys know that I am going to be making a video on the five reasons why you should upgrade from your current Xbox One or Xbox One S, X, whatever, to the brand new Series X. So turn on that subscribe button right there and also turn on that notification bell so you can get notified whenever I drop that video. But now let's get on to the third reason. Now the third reason why you shouldn't upgrade is well because the games. As you know, if you guys have heard out there, the brand new Series X is going to basically support almost all the current Xbox One games on the brand new Series X. So basically if you're looking to upgrade to the Series X for the games, there is no point because Microsoft has said that when the Series X does come out, if they do end up dropping a game for the Series X, it's most likely going to be coming out on the Xbox One and on the PC as well. So that if you're looking to upgrade to the Series X from a game standpoint, there's no reason to do it. And that's the third reason. So basically the third reason to sum it all up here is if you're looking to upgrade to the Series X for the games, there's no point because they're also going to be available on the Xbox One as well. But now let's hop on to the fourth reason. Now the fourth reason is if you're looking to upgrade to the Xbox Series X and you currently have an Xbox One S, well, that's kind of a different story, but I'm going to be talking about right now is if you have a current Xbox One X and you're looking to upgrade to the Series X, here's why I think you shouldn't. So basically the fourth reason is if you're looking to upgrade to the Xbox Series X for the specs, 
here's why I think it's definitely not worth it. So if you have a current Xbox One X and you're looking to upgrade to the Series X, the reason you shouldn't do it is because if you look at the specs on paper, they're pretty much identical and similar. And I do understand that the brand new Series X has 12 teraflops compared to the current Xbox One X, which has around six and a half teraflops. And I know it is six teraflops more, but let's be honest, how much of a difference does that really make when playing games or even when browsing, you know, the Xbox when, you know, on YouTube, Netflix and whatnot. So basically, if you want to upgrade from the Xbox One X to the Xbox Series X for the specs, it's really not worth it. Now, if you have an Xbox One S like I do, that's a little bit of a different story because the Xbox One S is significantly, is significantly less powerful than even the current Xbox One X. Now, the fifth reason is it doesn't really have much to do with the console, but more with the controller. And I know I talked about this more in depth on my previous video, which was me comparing this to the PS5. But if you want to upgrade to your brand new Xbox Series X and you currently have an Xbox One and you're looking to upgrade it just for the controller, there's no reason and here's why. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but the current Xbox One controller compared to the new Xbox Series controller compared to the new Xbox Series X controller, which I'll pop a picture up here on screen. If you look at them side by side, there's no difference whatsoever other than the, the touchpad and the triggers. Other than that, there's really no difference. Now I know, JJ Tech, what are you talking about? That has like nothing to do with the console really. Well, it kind of does because what are you going to be touching the most when playing your games? The controller. And if you're looking to upgrade your Xbox One to the current Xbox Series X just because of the controller, well, let me tell you some bad news. Sadly, there's pretty much no, there's pretty much no difference to the Xbox Series X controller compared to the Xbox One controller. So basically the fifth reason is if you want to upgrade your controller game to the new Series X, there's really no point because there's practically no changes. Now that pretty much wraps up today's video. Like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of video. I've never really done a video like this. And uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think of my reasons on why you shouldn't upgrade. Like I said, I'm also going to be making a video on five reasons why you should buy the brand new Xbox Series X. That's going to be coming next video. So like I said, subscribe down below and turn on that little bell so you can get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And also follow my Instagram here at JJTech123 so you can get notified pretty much every time I upload a brand new video first. So yeah, give me a follow there on Instagram. So yeah guys, also my current goal is to get to a thousand subscribers. So if you so if you could please do me a favor and subscribe down below, I would really appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Come on, please. Heck, why not? Like I said, my current goal is to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of June. Can we do it? Come on. The JJ Tech family is strong. We can do it. A thousand subscribers by the end of June. That's my current goal. And uh, like I said, I might have a little giveaway if, uh, if we do end up reaching that goal by the end of June. So, hey guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.